Did I understand it? Not completely. Did it matter? No. I found the play was very, very well acted, um, as you would expect from somebody like Gerard Murphy. Very emotional performances, both of them. Um, the actors certainly sort of um, got into the roles, I think. Terrifying, theatrical, beautifully done. I mean, it was riveting, absolutely riveting. Typical of Beckett, nothing happens, and yet a whole lot does. Yeah. Um, and the same with the second play as well. Um, still not terribly sure what it was all about. <laughs> Funnily enough, I'm not a man who has a huge amount of time for Beckett. Um, I, I've never really enjoyed Endgame or Waiting for God or late, right? but for some reason I really love Craft's Last Tape. Beckett is very always very specific about what he wants, and in a sense if you don't give him what he wants, it doesn't work. But here it was really impeccable, I mean, the circle for crap, the fact that he was able to go into the darkness to look for his stuff and come back without going off stage and yet you couldn't see him. I mean, those kind of things and the light and the fact that we can't see her face, which I suspect is in the text. Um, I think these ones that are just monologues, like, that are really kind of pared down and, and tiny and windless and they're just so concentrated. Um, I've got a lot of room in my life for them. I mean, they're both about isolation, about people in their own worlds and uh, how their own worlds make sense to them. I've seen Craps Last Tape a couple of other times and this is comparable. So I've seen John Hurt do it in London and this and Gerard Murphy certainly uh, equals that. Uh, once I got used to the idea that you're not going to get anything done up to you straight, uh, you begin to see sort of like, um, you know, fragments of the character and events. It's almost like you use your imagination to, uh, you, you know, like construct, um, you know, a life from the fragments. It's one of these things we're kind of talking about, you know, there's elements we really liked and elements we weren't sure about and think I didn't really get that, but I think it's something that we'll talk about for a few days or even a few weeks and kind of come back to and think, all right, now I get it. I like a play like that because if you come out and say, right, that's everything, then there's nothing more for you to think about. Whereas if you come out and think, well, okay, um, what was that about? Then it makes you think a little bit further, a little bit longer. It's rare to get theatre like that now where the text is sort of treated as poetry combined with the staging, so it's demanding and, and it demands concentration, but it's rewarding in the end.